to Amazonia. That's what we call this really cool rainforest I live in. My name is Brooke, and I live here with my family and my best friend, Monkey Moo. Monkey Moo and I love to swing from vine to vine and monkey around the forest. Hey, would you like to be little monkeys with us? Perfect! Did you know that monkeys are just one of the many kinds of animals that make their house here in Amazonia? Hmm, I wonder what other animals we might see if we swing from vine to vine. Hmm. <gasps> Did you hear that? Everyone, quick, put your hand on your ear and see if you hear the sound again. <gasps> there it is again! Hmm. Which one of these animals do you think made that sound? <gasps> yes! A bird makes that fun squawking sound. Do you know why? Every sound that we hear out here in the wild is saying, God, I love you! Everyone stand up and let's all sing to God together! The crocodile goes chomp, the crocodile goes chomp, the crocodile goes chomp to say, down on the ground. Before we go exploring in the jungle, Monkey Moo has two rules for us to follow so we can be monkeys just like him. So let me hear you say, ooh, one time. Great. Rule number one is to be kind. You can be kind by listening. If you can be kind monkeys who listen, let me hear you click on your listening ears. Click, click. Great job. Now let me hear you say, ooh, two times. Perfect. Rule number two is to be safe. You can be safe by being on a lookout when you're climbing high or swinging low. Let's all put on our special eyes together. Zoop, zoop. You are marvelous little monkeys. And I'm so glad you are monkeying around with me today because we are going on a hunt for some special fruit that has a yummy treat inside. Do you know what it is? It's a coconut! Monkey Moo told me that there is something yummy inside the coconut's hard shell. These vines will help us as we go up to hunt for the coconuts. Everyone reach up high and hold on tight. and do a little exploring. Hmm, let's all put on our special eyes and look around for a coconut tree. Do it with me, little monkeys. Hmm, do you see any trees that might have coconuts in them? Hmm, I think this one looks like a coconut tree. Yes, this is definitely the right tree, but the coconuts are all the way at the tippy top. There's no way I can climb all the way up there. What did you say, Monkey Moo? That's a great idea. I'll give it a 
good shake. Then I bet the coconuts will fall down and we can crack one open. No, I'm not strong enough to even make the tree shake. How are we going to get those coconuts? Wait, what if we ask my friend Amazon Andy? He lives in a treehouse high in the canopy. He helps me when I get myself into a little monkey mess or need some help. Oh, and he has the best stories. Andy and I made up a special call that we do when we need each other. All we have to do is make this sound. Ooh ee, ooh ee. Let's all do it together. Ooh ee, ooh ee. Hi friends. I see you could use a little help. And I think I know exactly what you need. Whenever my family and I don't know what to do, we go to the Bible for answers. Today's story reminds me a lot of Amazonia. In the first book of the Bible, called Genesis, we read that in the very beginning, there was nothing in our world. Everything was very dark. Let me see all my monkey friends close your eyes really tight. The only thing you can see is darkness when your eyes are closed. That's how it was before God made the world. But God said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay, you can all open your eyes again. God saw that the light was good, so he made day and he made night. And that was the very first day. On the second day, God made the sky and he made the water. On day three, God called the dry ground land and the water seas. He also made plants and trees. On day four, God made two great lights for the sky. Friends, what is the name of the bright light we see in the daytime? The sun. Yes, and what is the bright light in the sky at nighttime? The moon. You got it. On day four, God made the sun and the moon, but he wasn't finished because God wanted the world to be full of things he loves. So on the fifth day, God made animals that fly in the sky and swim in the sea. The next day, day six, God made all the animals that move on land and the wild animals, like the kind we have living around us out here. But day six was a special day because that is when God made the things he loves most. God made people. First, he made a boy named Adam. Then. He made a girl named Eve, and he's still making people like us. So that's the story of how God made everything we see. Isn't it amazing that God is the one who created the world and you and me? If you think so, let me hear you say this after me. God, God made, made me. me. That's right, Monkey Moo. God made the coconuts that you are searching for, and God made you. He made each of your monkey friends too. See if your monkey friends can help you shake the tree so that you can discover the coconut's yummy tree. I've gotta go, but I hope you have fun monkeying around today. So long. Thanks, Amazon Andy. I knew you would know how to help us. Friends, God made these coconuts. God made me and God made you too. Let's do what Amazon Andy said and try to shake this tree together. If we all shake it, I'm sure we will get a coconut. Everyone hold your hands up high and start to shake on the count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> Look, we did it. It's a coconut. Monkey Moo told me that if I poke a hole in the coconut, then you can drink the yummy treat. So let's see if we can make a hole in this together. Everyone pick up your stick from the jungle floor and poke a hole in it. <gasps> you did it! Now let's all drink the yummy treat that's in our coconut. Mmm, delicious. Isn't it so cool to know that God made everything we see, even some things we don't see, like this yummy drink. <sighs> that's inside all of these coconuts. Mm, I 
can't believe all the things that God has made, including you and me. There's absolutely nothing too hard for God to do. Let's stand up and sing a song to celebrate. too hard for you to do. Jeremiah 32, 17. You got it. This week, don't forget that God made me, Monkey Moo, and God made you too. Before you go, let me hear you say this one more time after me. God made me. I hope to see you again soon.